All right, hey, welcome to another edition of Run Buck on Games. I'm Run Buck, and I got another war recap for you. This time we got matched up randomly with the clan from EWA, the Moochers. Um, and as you can see here, we did end up winning. Uh, when you look at the map, it was actually pretty even. Slight advantage to JTJ, I'd say. We had two Town 11s, as did they. One of our Town 11s was a 10.5, no, no eagle. So that should have helped them uh, get a shot at a high percentage 2 or a 3 on that. Uh, from an 11 hit over and their 11s were a little weaker than ours though and then our advantage was down here uh, with this sixth uh, number six being a town all 10 theirs was a nine so you know I don't know ifs and buts candies and nuts we'd all have a Merry Christmas or for you Brits out there uh, isn't it go like if ifs and ands were pots and pans there'd be no work for Tinker's hands I don't know but anyway point is it was pretty close for random and it was fun fun war I'm sure each of us would have a you know, things we'd point out like, oh, if we would have just done whatever. But you can see one of the things was cool is my base held again. Their number one hit for 49%. How sad is he? But anyway, because that could have tied the war if you could have gotten two. But anyway, um, let's take a look at a couple of attacks. These are base voting from uh, JTJ, the top three. And then I might show a couple more just for fun. I was voted in. Somebody voted for me. So I got to take my uh, bows when I can get them, right? I did a healer, <coughs> basically Heva bow uh, attack. It's one of my faves right now. I've been having a lot of fun, as you see, with this, uh, with the two open, two bowler open. In that, uh, it really seems to get the direction going right. The only thing I've had trouble with with that is that with these, a lot of bases are running the expos external to kind of harass the queen walk and the bowlers when the queen comes down with them. See how they get singled out without heal and then they're done they separate so that didn't work but what made this tack really go to the high percentage tonight too is that tome timing see how the tome timed the warden was just in range so when the my troops engaged the cc they kind of plowed through and some couple good uh jump placements allowed me to then run around the horn the golem that i dropped was really intended to uh tie up expos on the x outside so that my team could come in and not get harassed but really didn't do that it ended up just sitting so that would be my ifs and buts uh, but I still think, and I'm still playing with that. Maybe, maybe it's better to do Valks in that. I don't know. But the, I'm I'm playing with ways to basically mitigate the expos being external while still getting to run the Heva boat. because uh, I like it. But you know, still the trial is ongoing for that. Let's finish out. See how close. Come on, get through the wall. Those level 11 walls, though, you know, just can't really beat through them very efficiently even though I like to try a lot. So that was one. And then uh, the other one that everybody liked was, and really kind of said the difference was, we got one three on one of their tens. They didn't get any. Uh, and that was Bob, our 10.5 that I mentioned. He ended up doing a Valk drive, so no healer action off of it, with Loon uh, snipe action as a second phase. And it really nicely executed just exactly as he drew it up on his sketch basically was he's planning on jumping here and here and then he'll just drive the core with Valks after he trimmed those two main spots um, doesn't have much of a problem getting through and then watch the nice timing and spread of his loons here you know two two three three haste in for the little length because he was trying to get to the uh, wizard tower before it activated so nice usage there but also to look at the nice spread of the balloons on the edge. The loons are, well, you really won't have a timing issue when you got this nice of a spread for your units in the end game. Uh, so really worked out well. And I think it was like a two minute attack. So that really was well, well done, recognizing the base uh, to being weak to that. So good job, Bob. And let's see here. The other one that was voted in was Alec. Alec has just come back off sabbatical. No rust on his chassis, though. He's going to execute for us a Heva Ho. So he's actually trying... Oh, I don't want to go four times speed, two times speed to work. He's going to do a good job of... Uh, let me let me change my color here. He's going to do a good job of establishing a nice table that drives kind of in this direction. Uh, and then that's going to allow the the Valk action with King to drive through here and then a hog action will come off this flank. 
So here we go at the table. Also gets the golem. One of the core issues is you want to get that golem out when you're valking anything because of the explosion coupled with surrounding fire really can take you out in a hurry if you're not careful. But here comes the valk action with the king. Blows right through. Heal with the jump. Powering on. And then using nicely timing the distract. So watch both these are now these guys are now distracted into the king and that's when he drops the valk so he really doesn't get harassment on the, or drops the hogs so he doesn't get harassment on the hogs they have good survivability and then he does a little surgical action here with three different teams so he had four distinct drops with the hog team and again nice spread look at look at how he's not really going to hit a time issue here he's got four distinct areas of work well five here's a whiz team moving a little bit of whiz reserve so Alex or Alec clearly did not have an issue coming off sabbatical, his meditation and trip to the Alps to ponder the meaning of Clash left no dent in his Clash skills. I don't know where he went. That was just me making up stuff. Let's do, what are we at? Six minutes in? Let's do a couple more. Um, hmm. Nobody wants to see. We did have some issues with nukes. Space uh, missed one nuke when he tried to pull Bowler. So that wasn't good. Let's look at an Eliezer attack. A laser. Here we go. And of course, would it be a JTJ war recap if we didn't have a, a just a Heva attack with the split split Heva? So he's got going to have a healer team on the on the queen and a healer team on the Valk coming in. He'll end up. Looks like he's going to try to create. I haven't watched these, so this one I haven't watched. Looks like he's going to have a table here. So I'm feeling the drive for one of these sides will probably be Valk action. What do you think? Am I right? Am I wrong? There's the CC. He was waiting for that. And look at that. There they come. So now we are now moving into the phase of Healer Valk. Gets the, gets the AD down just in time. We're starting to nick him up a little bit. Nice jump placement. Gets back through. <coughs> and then powers through one wall. Without any hurry. Nicely done. Leaves this pot, right? So he's gonna he's gonna come back to it, which isn't as easy as you think with the uh, with the healer Valk because the range is not enough. The but he got he got lucky, I think, in that his his healer actually rotated around and stayed down here and didn't try to mess with the other stuff. But it really I don't know. Did it matter? Mm, hard to say. It's a good attack either way. Good job, Eliezer. Eliezer. Do not know how to pronounce it. If you have a different pronunciation, feel free to throw it at me. Oh, there was some votes for A boy. Let me let me put A boy up. He probably would be number four. If I listed th four things on the thumbnail, he would have been fourth. They said check out A boy's patience. So let's think. I think that's later on in the attack. Looks like a queen walk. Heva ho is what it looks like. Yep. All right, so you and Alec are hanging out together. Takes out the queen. Takes the AD down. Here comes the Valk action off the top. And then what, look at him waiting with the, and that's the patience, is waiting and just slowly deploying out his 11 hogs. There's some more. There's some more. There's some more. Got it. So really not, you know, Aboy was one of our best Town Hall 9 hoggers. So it's not surprising to see as we move to a more mixed attack style with the Heva Ho that uh, his surgical styles remain. His surgical stylings. We should have music that uh, ties to him jamming out. If he was a surgeon, what music would Aboy listen to? Who else? Where are we at now? Nine minutes. We'll do one more. Joe, showed you last time, A Mag, last time, Mord. Wait, let's do this. Let's take a look at who had a two star war. No, or two six stars. See, make sure I don't miss them. A Boy, we already talked about. Alec, we talked about. Mord. Looks like it's Mord. And you can see that their bases did stymie our Town Hall 9s. Our Town Hall 9s did struggle again. Really, we, we won because of our Town Hall 10 and 11s, kind of similar to the War Whales. Attack. So our town line still have work to do. Heck, we all do. Let's not let's not assume anything. But let's find Mord. There he is. Let's see what the awesomeness of Mord looks like. Oh Lord, there it is. It's a heave a ho. But it looks like with split action. 
because he's got those. Oh no, yep. So let's see how this works for him. So he diced in. He's got a light Valk team. He decided to get a little bit of, instead of like a heavier Valk group behind that healer, he wants some hogs. So let's see what that looks like. So he's moving again, creating the table. He's going to end up with a table, something like this. Interesting. That's not really a, I don't even know, that's almost just like a, that's just a walk. I don't even think that is a table. He's not deep enough. <clears throat> it does double back though. I don't think he expected this. So I'm thinking this attack went not as he planned. It's an offside. He does trigger the, well maybe he did. Because he got the CC out, which would have been death for his other group here. So that was, because that dragon was there. So I don't know. I'll I'd be interested in if he commented in the on the channel, on the YouTube channel, whether or not he expected to do that double back. He would have had to model that pretty well to know that was going to happen, but he definitely needed it down. But it also noticed the offside, so I could where he valked offside and then hog action from here. So it's almost like a three front attack at different phases. Hmm. The big question is this double back off the valk though. Nice attack though. I've not now see more. Maybe I'm gonna do a bonus edition. We're gonna look at your other attack. See if you do the same thing. Bonus edition. Mord times two. And then I promise this will be the last. Oh look at that! It's one of those empty core bases. I'm expecting some massive something to go powering this way. Wrong? Right? Don't know. We'll see. <laughs> So the queen is powering into the mid. Interesting. Taking some damage. Got the AD down. Got both ADs down. Nice. So a little different than I would have expected. And then he's got the Heva. And off it goes to the races. We're going backwards. We're going this way. Yeah, because these C bases, you know, where they basically have this empty core, if you can get this setup going where the CC's been taken care of, the ADs are down, it's just game over. I mean, but I guess it's easier said than done because I think somebody else attacked this base and they died in here. They didn't have the exact, if you notice how his came in, took out one AD, and then came. I think they came out too much in the middle and the two ADs kind of sideswiped him. So it definitely requires some modeling in the queen walk modeler to make sure your queen gets into the that opening of the C and, and takes stuff out correctly. But then once you got it down, then you're off to the races. But anyway, great attack by the great attacks by the moochers as well. I think they were definitely a quality clan. Had won forty eight of the last fifty matches, I think someone said. I didn't go over and say hi, but somebody else talked to him a little bit. So their war log looked beautiful. So if that's true, holy smokes, guys. You needed a break. We just, you know, gave you, took the pressure off you. <laughs> All right, guys, have a good weekend or the remaining day of the Memorial Day weekend. Maybe we'll come back later with something else exciting. What am I going to do? My clan sucks. Hey, it's JTJ. Uh, I think that's an all-out attack. No, no, it's the legendary JTJU. 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 This army. Download Clash of Clans for free. Then subscribe to JTJU and win.